Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm the Wreck Kiwi. This is Call of the Wild. And that's a Ricky Racer over there. Oh. Hey, gal. Good, good. How are you? Yeah, good. And I thought today we'd come out and once again try and give the goose a shoost. So I'm going to change the time because I think it's yep 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to change the time to the morning. We're going to give that a go. Change around a little bit here and there and uh, see how we go. Oh, no, I need to get to the bed. And if we can't find any geese and Hirschfeld doesn't want to play the game with us, then we're going to make a bit of a jump and a skip and head over to Leighton Lakes. But, oh, goose, look, straight away you can hear him. So we're going to cruise over here to the old uh, goose location. And while we're doing that, I'll say hello to the chat. We've got Jaxi Bed and Dadonator, Henry Grobbler. Oh, hello, we're having stutter moments. Dazza MM65, Mrs. Beard. Carius, Nicholas Point. Let me just check. I think I've got a few more that I'll have to check out on. Got to scroll up today. Fish JD. Everybody's here today. How are you all? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming along. All right. I'm going to go and park up on one of these hay bales, and hopefully Ricky will be able to get up on one of these hay bales. And we're going to see if we can call some call some geese in, because I really, really, really want to get some geese. Killer Kong and Frisbee Hound, morning, how are you? And there's my hype man, how are you, Flair? Sean Johns, welcome to the stream, guys, girls, everybody. Wish me luck. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get some geese. They've got to be around. I can come out here in single player and have no problems. They will be everywhere. Yet we tried this on Ricky's stream yesterday and we just couldn't find any. It was really, really strange. Zerius, hey, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. There are other animals around though, so if something else happens to plod along, then we will uh, shoot that by all means. You know what I'm like if it moves. It's offended me. It has to go, but ultimately I'd like to see some goose. No, that's a deer grunt. I don't want that one. I know there are fellow deer around here as well. We actually just had probably five or six of them pop in before the start of the stream. Yeah, well that fellow only just ran over the hill back behind the tent there, so he won't have gone too far. No. So he may come back. And Killer B, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Well, how is everyone today? Are we having a good day? Is anybody else having any really good luck with the geese? Because I know they're around. I heard them. I heard them when we logged in. Where are you, geese? Come and show yourselves. So we'll hang out here for a little bit and if it doesn't pan out here I do have another location or two set up. We have down here at the bottom which I know is a good one. Over in Rathenfeld as well and then just because I could I set a couple up here just to see what the difference was and there were no geese until such time as I put down the decoys and then all of a sudden there were geese. Killer Kong says his map is barren. Tim Kent, good morning. Bud Stinkfinger reporting for duty. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Excellent. And Flares had two rare types, no golds, and that's not including the brown hybrid. Wow. That's not bad. I've only, the only rares, well, the only rares I've seen are Flint, the ones Flinter got. So, come on, geese, where are you? It's just like it's barren. Hirschfelden has really had some issues with these geese. But you've got to give it time, they reckon. So we'll give it some time. And meanwhile, we'll have a look around and see if anything else comes in. Yeah, I did 
did hear a fellow deer over the background there, behind the tent there. There we go. There's a road deer, male one trivial coming in. Okay. Well. And we got geese coming in. Hey. I can hear them to my right. Geese. I can actually hear them to the south. No, I've got them coming from the north. Oh, and there's that fellow deer just standing over there. Oh, there they are. There's the geese. Yeah, and you just, you, you saw me and you yeah, didn't want to come along and play, really? Come on, geese. Break. Don't fly away, please. Please break. Yes, there's the break. Okay, now we've got the 20 gauges, so I'm going to go with birdshot. Um, I have birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. But Where let's see. Uh, oh, well, yeah, they're coming in. Yeah, they're coming in, man. They do that weird circle thing. So, when you've got one lined up, I've got one lined up. Yep. Yep. All right, three, two, one, and two down. Can I get another couple? Nope, I'm going to miss that one. Can I get him with a slug? Yep, <laughs> just because I can. How'd you go, Ricky? Yep, got one. Excellent. And there you go. Goose on a shoost. And there's still more around, so we'll go and pick these up and have a bit of a looky see, because I haven't actually shot too many myself. I'll have no consex. Oh no, 40%. Oh, no, my one, that one. That oh, one's. Got a bit in that. You got a bit in that one as well. You got a bit of flesh. And there as well. I love that. That is. Yeah, that's a fantastic oh, view. There's more coming in. There's more coming in? Alright, let's get up on the. Hey, hey, hey. Get up on the hay bale, you. And life lap. We got a couple more to pick up, but we'll see if we can. Uh... Oh no, they're pretty high. They might. Uh, they may break. No, I can't even get on this hay bale. My hammer has hassles getting on the hay bale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it won't. There we go. And th <laughs> thanks, Tim Kent. This is uh, yeah. I'm quite surprised actually. I haven't really had much of a chance out here on the Goose Schust, and this is what I was hoping was going to happen for uh, that man's stream yesterday, was that they would all suddenly fly in and we'd be able to shoot some, but uh, no, they, they, look like they, flew away. they did, so we'll go and pick up these other ones now. Where did that other one go? I had, you um, down over the other hay bale over to the southwest. Yep, I can see him. <laughs> what's what's going on there? What's going what's going on there? I don't know what's going on in chat. I've missed something. Frank Venero has stopped in. How are you, Frank? Thanks for stopping by. You just missed the first of the uh, the goose shoots. Oh, zero percent consecutive. But that's not bad. I actually managed to shoot it with a uh, slug, so I'm happy with that. A bit oh, of we got one flying straight out of the ground there. Yeah, I saw that. We got some more coming in. Okay, I've got to make sure I'm all reloaded because I've got empty guns. Oh yep. no, I think they might have seen you. Probably, but that's alright. We'll get up on the uh, the old bale of hay over here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Ah, good stuff. Nice warm, comfy bale of hay and we'll see if we can call some back. Isaac Booth stopped in. How are you, Isaac? Welcome to the stream. We just had a bit of luck with some geese and we'll see if we can uh, get some more. Well, that was actually quite nice. I'm McRae. How are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Just hoping to get some more geese to come back. Oh, here we go. I can hear him again. Or is that just a... 
Oh, well, Hank Jones on. Yep. And it's right, you don't seem to be able to overcall the geese. Although in saying that, I still think I'm I'm still personally of the belief that we should have a long range caller to make them break. Realistically though, with that many geese sitting in a paddock and they, how much noise they actually make, I can't see that you could overcall. No, well that's right. Come on, geeses. Has anyone told Rick and Ricky they rock yet? Well, thank you so much, Carriers. You have now. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it's without this community that, uh, you know, I wouldn't be doing this. It'd just be me and me and that man over there mucking around in games, having a laugh. If anyone doesn't know what uh, community I'm talking about, then uh, get out from your rock. And um, if one of my legendary people in blue would care to chuck up some discord links i have the discord links for the barbershop the zagonation team flinter and the new one unity which is uh just pumping along i must say i uh i'm, I'm very impressed with the way Unity's running at the moment it's going really really well and that's a combination of the three discords so if you haven't joined already you should get yourself over there and while you're doing that check out the other links because I have the links for all the channels that you should be watching you should be sub to and you should be liking oh, pig. and that would be that man there Mr. Ricky Racer he streams every Friday 6 p.m. PST we have Jaxie Baird who we all know and love the man is a legend he's out there all the time there is content on his channel beyond what I can keep up with sometimes I do my best sir we also have Flinter the Hunter, who releases Hunter content daily. Hey, Jesus, good God! Thank you so much. Oh, come on, I've got to get through the first one before the second one kills me. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for the huge donation by Fred there and the Potato Squad. Thank you so much. You're all just absolutely legendary. And if you don't know who the Potato Squad is, then you need to get in the Discord because they're an amazing bunch of people. They really, really are absolutely legendary. Silver Fox has tuned in. Hey, Silver, welcome to the show. Let me just try and get myself back together here and maybe get some geese in. Thank God they can't hear that because everything had run within about 10 miles. Oh, jeebus. Um, as I was saying, I continue with uh, Flinter the Hunter. So if you don't know who he is, go and check him out, people. He's, he's amazing. He's just a fantastic guy. Does great content. And then, of course, we have the one and only, because they broke the mould after he came out. Mr. Zaggy DK and the Zaga Nation. He is truly one of a kind and we love him dearly. So go and check him out. And then we have the two new content creators coming through the barbershop at the moment. Absolutely amazing content coming from these guys. And uh, that would be Mr. Sean Johns and Mr. Non Inspirational Gaming. Now I've watched those guys grow, I've watched their subs grow over the last week or two, and my god amazing growth congratulations to the pair of you you're doing really really well do me a favor everyone go and check them out sling them a like sling them a sub show them some love geese where are you geese show me some love and yes you are right zaggy uh dad data zaggy is giving the community a lot of tips along with um jaxie and flinter and i'm sorry if i'm missing the chat here I'm still trying to get myself together after those last couple of gunshots Carius was asking if Rick and Rick if anyone's told us how much we rock yes she did ask earlier and thank you so much like I say I just it's it's the community beyond all communities and that it revolves around a game as fantastic as this even with the bugs that it has every now and again yeah I just I can't get over it really and that was what I was about to say, Mrs. B. Has anybody told Carius how awesome she is today? Because believe me, Carius, I can make you blush too. 
Carrius and the Potato Squad. Flair, the hype man beyond all hype men. Killer Kong. Um, who else is in the Potato Squad these days? Tengo, Tough. Guys, get in the Discord, check it out. They're an amazing group of people. There's always games going on. We actually played uh, golf with friends yesterday. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a chuckle. That is a really fun game. I'll give it to them. And we're only using normal golf balls. Imagine using acorns or something stupid like that. Oh, I don't know how I'd go with an acorn. I was doing pretty crappy with Crunched a up ball. I was doing pretty crappy with a golf ball just quietly, and I play golf. All right. Okay. Let's go to a location that I haven't actually shoosted any goose at, down in Rathenfeld. We'll see if we can get them to come out here. Because I really... Oh, look at that. Get out. Get out of the grass. Run. Now this is a location that I wasn't sure about when I first came here. And like I said, it was pretty dead. There didn't seem to be a whole lot of movement, a whole lot of sound or anything. Yet as soon as I chucked the decoys down, goose. So we'll give it a whirl. Ah! Small cost. Mmm, Georgia. Thank you. Um, Maddie, Padme, boom. <laughs> Oh, good grief. <laughs> oh, okay, Jaxie, I didn't know you had... Oh, no, no, no. No, Daz is talking to you about the dino game. I thought you might have been talking about golf with friends. Seagull, Tango, Tough, Killer Bee, Killer Kong, Whale, Flare, Carius, and McFury. And that is the Potato Squad, people. This chat is so fluffy. <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> yeah, apparently, according to uh, Tim Kent, this chat is extremely fluffy, which is, hey, that's cool. I can do fluffy. Oh, jeebus. Now, I've got a blind set up here, so I'm going to go and lay in it. And Isaac Booth, I don't know if I'd said hello to you today, mate. If I hadn't, I'm sorry I missed you, mate. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Hey. I can actually lay in one of my blinds. This should be amazing. Now all I need is some geese to fly over and we'll be right. I just don't know that I have my blinds set up in the right place. I, you can't be too high because you can't look down too far when you're trying to spot them. That's what I noticed the other day when I had mine set up slightly uphill. The geese were below me and I couldn't go any lower than that with my binoculars. And Michael Bateman is here. Welcome to you. Thanks for tuning in, mate. How much does the Goose DLC cost, Adnator? I believe it is three ninety nine US dollars. Yes, it is. But you don't need the DLC to hunt the goose. You only need the DLC to get this strange little tent thing. I don't really know. Layout blind. I've never seen one of these in my life. But you get this and those lovely decoys out there and the new guns the 20 gauges which in my opinion just are absolutely beautiful they've done such a good job on them all I have all three today I have the white the red and there is four I believe but I didn't bring the other one I haven't checked the other one out yet and the dark timber so where are these goose what are you doing to me goose And we have Zyle has joined the stream. Welcome, Zyle. If I've said that name wrong, mate, I apologise. And at least you get to watch this one. Every time you get off work, I'm about to end the stream. Well, that's great. Fantastic. Thanks for making it in, and I'm glad you uh, got a chance. And Hendry, if I had some uh, landmines, mate, I would plant them gladly. And, yeah, Zerius, I would like... Hey, you keep getting stuck on that left. Hey, look at that. Did I just do a... I, you can do a complete 360 in this thing now? But only one way. 
Yes. Yeah, you could do that the other day too. Oh, we could. Oh, I did not no. notice that. Uh, Trance Energy just got wrecked. Welcome to the channel, mate. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. And yes, as I was saying, Zero, skeet shooting would be great. I'd like to see duck shooting myself. Um, in saying that, I'd like to see the blinds for duck shooting be similar to the ones in Classic. Just the, uh, the sort of the square half blind. But we'll see how they go. I do believe ducks will come. On that note, though, we have we will have a new animal coming very soon, I would imagine, to Medved once they finally work out the geese. What does everybody think's coming to Medved? What's the most popular at the moment? A dog to fetch, says the... Yes, yes, Georgia, that is that is true. A dog to fetch would be fantastic. Especially if you're going to go after ducks because they will fall in the water and we can't swim. So... Trophy room would be good too, Frank De Niro said. Oh, I'm just... I mm, that, yeah, that is my biggest wish for this game. Above anything else is a trophy room. I'd, be, I'd settle with the animals we have now if we could have a trophy room. And Seagull Iceland, hey, how are you, matey? Welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Isaac Booth wants a mountain lion. Yeah, well, hey, you know, talk to Zaggy about that one. He um, he, he might have some inside information there somewhere. <laughs> what was that one the other day? Beard was reading out to us, and they, he said, "Oh no, it's I'm not asking for much, but I want mountain lions that climb trees." <laughs> there you go. See mountain lions. Oh no. And Mrs. Beard has just realised we can't say if it has four legs it dies anymore because now two legs is a thing. Well, you're right, Mrs. B, and that's why it's always been my thing. If it moves, it dies. Two legs, four legs, no legs. If it moves, I'm shooting it. It don't matter. Tim Kent, elephant on med bed. Sean Johns is hoping for wolves. Frank Venero is hoping for a wolf. I'd like to see a, um, a timber wolf or something of some variety added. That would be nice. Elephant on Medved, yeah, well, that'd be different. A grizzly bear. Now, there's something. My volume's low as well. Your volume's low? Give me a second, people, and I will attempt to fix that. I do believe I know how to fix that problem now. That would be because I have them a little bit low and discord. So, let's hope that changes it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. That should... <laughs> That should work. I just I have you turned down in Discord every now and again after the streams and stuff. It's um, it runs so loud no, okay. for me now. I don't know why. Um, oh, Georgia. Oh, who was that that said uh, grizzly bears? Somebody said grizzly bear. I'm gonna get back up to that. Ah, wolf, grizzly bear from Henry Goblin. Now I'd love a grizzly bear because it'd attack you. Uh, Parmigen on Medved, yeah, well, I've only shot a couple of those, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. They would be interesting, because they're quite tough. Non, <laughs> Non-typicals, yeah, non-typicals in a unique antler system, nice. Arctic hair from Flair, goats, and Flair says grizzly bear and brown bear are the same thing. Okay. I thought they may have been different, but there you go. Brown bear is smaller than a grizzly. They're different. Fish JD just took that message away there. <laughs> okay. And yes, that's right, uh, Henry, uh, Tim there. Uh, elephants are an endangered species, and EW has a thing with not adding endangered species to their lists of animals to... Uh, Go out and shoot in the wild. Well, this sucks, this location. Let's try it. Yeah, wow. Let's try it. One more location up the top here. And if that don't work, then... I don't know. We'll just go for a bit of a shoot around. And if nothing appears to be wandering out, then we might uh, jump over to Riki's Leighton map and take the 20 gauges out there and see what fun we can have. Oh, there you go. Grizzly are a type of brown bear. Brown bear. Yar. <laughs> brown bear. Yep, they are a type of brown bear, apparently. So, 
there you go. I don't know, we don't have bears in Australia, thank God. Everything else here tries to kill you. One more predator just, I don't know. I don't think it'd be too popular, quite frankly. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether the uh, elephant are pixelated or not there, Tim. It's it's EW's, uh, EW's sort of rule on, on gaming. They don't add animals that, I mean, be like adding a kiwi. Can't do that. It's just not on. No shoes, no shoes, dinky. Oh, good God, that's loud enough. No shoes, kiwis. Let's just lie down here and see if we can actually get anything to come in. Well, there you go. A Kodiak bear is a different one. Much more aggressive. Well, that's that's what we need. We need an aggressive animal. I need something else to chase me down. Come at me. Be aggressive. Now, there's something else I've got to try out. And if anyone in chat's tried it out, let me know. Um... <laughs> Jaxi. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> a bit harsh um can you use the normal blind setup in a goose area i'm wondering if you just set up one of the normal big blinds that we got with the blind dlc as to whether you'd be able to use it so if anyone in chat can uh, verify that or has tried that let me know and yes, I snore something fierce. That's why I run rain in my room, so that when my door's closed, nobody can hear me snore. And you don't want kiwis extinct, Dad and Ada. No, 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 no kiwis. No, no shoest on a Sunday for me, and no shoest on a Saturday night for you. <laughs> so you know, ki kiwis are important. Trust me. Wow. Wolverine. I don't know. The Wolverines in Far Cry are shocking. They attack you. Mind you, that would probably be pretty cool. But they're so small and so violent. Killer turkeys. Yeah, killer turkeys. Snow sheep. Ah, uh, rhino. Uh, rhino, because black rhino are basically extinct. Same as the albinos. Gaming Potato 45, welcome to the stream. How are you? The big blind plus four peeps to one side, their own firing lanes and decoys all around. Yeah, well, give it a try, Flair. Let me know. I'm not sure if you can. You should be able to use them, Jaxie. That's right. And Ezra's here. How are you, Ezra? Welcome to the stream. We did have some luck with the geese. And now they're just... Stream long distance shooting. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Australia, they've got it in classic. Kangaroos, feral goats, feral pigs, foxes. It's a good map. Long distance shooting on that is brilliant. A sable, says tough, a little marten type creature. Yeah, well, that'd be uh, interesting. And turkeys, yes. Turkeys, I, I do I do believe, Frank, that turkeys will one day make their way to Medved, personally. Well, Leighton. I don't know about Leighton. They more, they seem like more of a European... I mean, I'm... I'm they, were, they were introduced to Europe from America. Yeah, well, I suppose they have Thanksgiving and that's Turkey, so... A Montana Plains and Mountains map. Says all of the above outdoors. Welcome to the stream, mate. And that would be an interesting one. Well, these geese don't want to play, man. They just do not want to play. They don't play. want to play at all. No, they don't want to play. That's just not good. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, you're, you're pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Gaming Potato, for that very generous donation. And, and the shot to the heart. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's 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 fantastic. Um, oh, bugger it. Let's just go for a hunt. Let's go and see what else we can find. These, if, we, if we come across some goose people, we'll try and call them down. 
Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to go for a shoot because I don't really want to... Oh, where am I going? Yeah, I'm going the right direction. I don't want to sit around and uh, look at blank sky, and I'm sure neither do you. As much as I'd like them to come in, Goose are playing silly buggers at the moment, and I do believe EW has another fix on the way. Um, so, yeah. The turkeys are already in Medved, just waiting for the right moment to strike this fish. <laughs> uh, I hope not. Uh, it's bad enough, you know. I've got bears coming at me and stuff. Turkeys are a little bit smaller and probably harder to hit. Hey! Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, thank you so much, Georgia Canuck. Run, honey badger, run. Mm, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm running, trust me. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, mm, I just... Uh, the week in between that shot and the next one is just sometimes a little too much because it's frightening. Now there are geese everywhere. Where have we? Call them. Okay. I can hear them when I come out here but not when I go out there, so maybe I need to bring decoys out here. Are you still in the paddock? I'm in this next paddock. Yeah, that'd be typical. Move away from where I've got my, my decoys. Good on you, you retarded birds. Which makes me think that maybe I should move that set of decoys out into the middle here somewhere. Well, it sounds like it's coming from that direction. No, it's... Yeah, they're flying. They're funny things. Every, every time I walk away and they decide they're going to fly in. That's what happened yesterday. We'd get to a location on your stream and there'd be goose sounds everywhere. As soon as you get there, no geese. Yep. And yes, gaming potato, I got spooked badly. <laughs> it does it to me every time. It's, it's a shocker, but... Uh, I love it. Everybody else loves it, so I'm happy to keep it there. And the one animal that steal food from bears and put the fair into God of bears, the wolverine. Yeah, well, like I said, the wolverines in uh, Far Cry are bad enough. They're really nasty. Actually, the one animal that seems to uh, just about kill me every time. Oh no, a popcorn kernel shard in your tooth. That's, yeah, popcorn stuck between your teeth really sucks. Hey! Um. <laughs> Come on. Silver. It was nice and quiet in here. It was, it was, see, it was bad enough. There's thunder up there. That's, that's loud. That's, that's good. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't get over that thing. That was yours yesterday, Riggy. It, uh, it made you jump yeah, a couple of times. <laughs> made me jump a few times. <laughs> oh, crikey. Oh, and yes, no no, no dental mentioned, please. D dental is a bad word today. It's, it's a bad word all the time. Hey! Mmm. <laughs> Oh, Sean. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not quiet in here anymore, guys. It's, it's loud. Look, yay, loud. Mm, shoosting, yay. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it, 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 it leaves me speechless. On, it honestly does. At the end of every stream, I'm sort of, I'm just dumbfounded. The support and the love from this community is just so amazing. All you people out there, I just, I can't get over it. It really, it really blows me away. It does. Thank you so much. If they gave us raccoons, well, I don't know. Jaxie, how do you feel on raccoons? You're pretty, you're, you're pretty, you're pretty attached to one of them, aren't you? <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> oh, well, you need to turn your headphones up, Sean. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
There's a diamond. <laughs> diamond. There's a diamond, Ricky Racer. I've tried. Trust me. Look, you just can't it's do it. Valid target. It's, it's just, it's, it's just, just not possible. Because I come out hunting with a diamond beard quite often as well. See, and uh, it's, <laughs> you know, I still haven't managed to shoot that one. I've hunted with a few diamonds. I've died diamond flinter, a diamond saggy. I've hunted with an entire diamond potato squad. So, you know. oh, hey, come on. <laughs> Jaxi? <laughs> I missed what Silver said. What was that, Sean? What did you say? Thank you. Hey, come on! <laughs> oh, good grief! Oh, oh Sean, he should, couldn't hear Silver over the uh, over the bombs. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. And thank Henry, you. Henry reckons you should get a face cam. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, no, I have a face for radio, and it's, it's a face that sometimes my mother can't even love. So I'll, I'll just stick to um, yeah, voice, voice, voice thing for now. Maybe, maybe one day, just to um, shock the living buggery out of most of you. Um, but for now, yeah, trust me, my face isn't something that should be out there on the internet. Oh. Yeah, they, they are having a conversation via via donations there, Dadonator, and it's um, my poor heart's taking the brunt of the conversation, which is fantastic. That's great. Love you all so much. Come on, animals, where are you? Don't. Hey! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Mrs. Beard, you're not supposed. You're supposed to be looking after me. Oh. Mm hmm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Buddha! Thank you so much. Oh, good grief, Ricky! You, you, you have to just lead the stream. I'll just dribble along behind you here somewhere. Yeah, not seeing too much, though. No, no, it's not even tracks. It's just, it's strange. We go for a bit of a run, eh? Oh, and Flair, you found all the rabbits. No, we'll see. Oh, just wait. Oh. Pig. 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 Bacon. Laying down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, Silver. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Buddha. Muchly appreciated, matey. Oh, you're probably on your way to work, but have a good night. Oh, good God. <coughs> Apparently there's a pig up here somewhere in a roe deer. I really don't know. I'm yeah, there is a roe deer in the bushes. I was trying to see if I can find it again. Oh, I'd like, yeah, the, I'd like the pig. Oh. There's the... Oh. You're right. No, you take your time. I've still got to get my heart back into where it belongs. It's kind of hanging in my throat at the moment. Pig's laying down to the east. Oh, there's that. 19 out. Oh, okay, and that road is coming in too, isn't it now? Yep. It's a little doe. She's right here, 54 meters. Oh, um, what's the kiwi sipping on today? I'm actually sipping on raspberry cordial. Ah! <coughs> <coughs> um. <laughs> oh. Tough. You feel you feel left out of the conversation. Uh, well, welcome to the conversation. It, it, it appears to be going rather well. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a mess. Oh, there's the pig. Hey, pig. Hey, there's something. Hey, look, look. This thing wants to. Come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. It's birdshot all the way. And die. I said die. Really? Really? Yeah, that pig got up and run. That's all right. I wanted this. See now, you can't shoot him with buckshot with the twenty gauge because you don't get the integrity. So you got to try and shoot him with the bird shot, but obviously wasn't close enough. And now this thing will run for miles and probably won't die. So we'll just give it a bit of a check over the hill here. If it's not going down. I'm not even going to bother. Can sex be damned? Oh, um, as yeah, red corner. 
Fish JD likes the new cooking system in the Long Dark. I haven't actually played the Long Dark Fish. I have. Um, you're gonna lie down and. <laughs> That is so funny. She just lay down and died. Good on you. Well done. So bird shot will do it with one shot. It's just going to be no uh, no quick kill whatsoever. Um, yeah. So I haven't I haven't actually played the long dark to know what it's like. I have watched a few videos on it. It looks interesting. It does, but I'm not sure. I've got that many games at the moment that I'm running out of time to play them. Um. And flares off to blast some rabbits with the old 20 gauge. And consider that donation on behalf of the potatoes. Well, thank you so much, Potato Squad. Muchly appreciated. Uh, the Georgia Canuck Cordial. Uh, how do I explain cordial to them, Ricky? It's um, you mix it with water and it makes a flavored drink, but it's not powder, it's actually a liquid. Easiest way, I suppose. It's not a type of liquor. <laughs> Trust me, it's not al it's not alcoholic. It's got it got it to twelve. It's almost time to start drinking that. But then I don't really drink. I'm I haven't been a drinker in a long time. And all of the rabbit Shelby shots says shots says flair. Well, that's good. And as I was going to say earlier, mate, they wouldn't have been the rabbits on my map because after I left, it becomes someone else's map. So whoever joined. Um, first, I believe, after me and Riki, it would have been their map if they were still there. Not sure. What are you checking now, Riki? There is a female pig warning call. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Georgia liquid Kool Aid. Oh, that that's the word I was looking for. It's um, yeah. Over here, it's what are the what do they call it over here? It's um. Cotties, Cotties Cordial or something. I don't know. Comes in different yeah, yeah. flavors. So I'm drinking raspberry today because that's what's in the fridge. Cordial is also polite. That is right. That is very right, Silver. It's a polite drink. It is a very polite drink. <laughs> Cordials. Um. Yes they are tough I'm I can't really remember there's uh, there used to be a product on the market when I was growing up called Voc I don't know if you can still buy it it is the most disgusting liqueur type thing I've ever had but that there you can buy Voc still you still buy Voc there you go it's revolting it's just disgracefully disgusting Red cordial, great way to amp the kids up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ricky used to do it to his kids when he was sending them back to their mothers every now and again. Red cordial and lollies. It's funny. <laughs> it's always amusing. Ever wonder if the liquid in the Kool-Aid man's stomach isn't Kool-Aid, but blood, he's a serial killer. Well, <laughs> that's a bit rough on the poor old, poor old Kool-Aid guy. All he wants to do is jump through a wall and go, yeah. Hey. Oh. That is a warning call a for a Now, I do believe I have Scent Eliminator, so I'm going to chuck yes, some I of that in. And we'll give ourselves a little bit of a spray, and we'll see if we can get a red deer, folks. That would be great. Get up on this rock. Go on, go on, do me a favor. Get up on the rock. Lie down on the rock. Crawl up the rock. <laughs> Smashes through walls and goes, yeah, you're dead. Well, that would be a bit rough. I don't know if I'd want the Kool-Aid guy after that. No. Oh, it's turned into a mating call. Have I you love got it. a um, red deer caller? Yeah, I just used it then. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. So that just turned it into a mating call, so it's all good. Liquid flavours that you had to... Okay, what do you call them in... Um, Canada then Mrs. Beard because yeah it's cordial over here or um, crikey see I don't even know what they call it in New Zealand it's a powdered version of it in New Zealand we never really drank the liquid version um, a jam and cheese sandwich no no maybe a peanut butter and cheese sandwich 
But um, not a jam and cheese sandwich today, though, Mr. Peanut Spie. butter and jam. Peanut butter and jam. He's coming. Now i got to wonder how the slugs are going to go on him with the 20 gauge. Should be interesting if we can get him close enough. I got that one yesterday. Where are you, big boy? I can hear you. Hello. Give myself another jab of the old spray. Um, I'm not sure if the integrity spreadsheet is updated with the 20 gauge or not. Jaxi or someone from the Discord might be able to. Might be able to help with answering that question there, Henry. Wow. Where is he? He's just over the top of this friggin' hill. It's gonna be a pain in the bum. I'm gonna crawl forward and see if I can get up on this other rock. Banana and mayo, says Silver Fox. I don't know. Banana and mayo. I, I don't know about that. Hey, I'm, um, you know, I'm each to their own, but that's a bit different. That's, yeah. And I don't consider it a weird combo, Mrs. B. It's what I grew up with as a kid. What's that? Peanut butter and cheese. No, that is weird. It's not weird. Hey, I've got a piggy just here. Have you? Yeah, 35 metres from me, just oh, standing there. So you have. See if you can call That's what it. I could hear. Well, this red deer is just over this hill. I know it is, and it just does not want to uh, pop its antlers up to say hello. And what is a mosquito hawk? Yeah, well, I've got this piggy in me sides here, 34 out, just coming in. Oh well, if you want to bang, apparently slugs are good for uh, pigs. So if you'd like to shoot her, by all means. Oh, she's gone behind the rock. She's coming out towards you. Okay. Still behind the rock for me. She's behind a tree for there she is. I can see her. There she is. All there right. she is. I see her. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get red deer, but we might be able to slug a pig. Hello. Oh, you're going to stand right there. Beautiful. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, lovely. Now I've been told this is fully ethical to slug a pig, so we'll find oh, out. With a Twenty gauge, it should be, and it is completely ethical to slug a pig. Thank you very much for all of that information, Potato Squad, because that's where that bit came from. And it's not weird. Peanut butter and cheese is not weird, people. Well, okay, maybe it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Daz I reckon's crunchy peanut butter and cheese is yummo. Yeah, see, see, I'm not completely worried. That was from Peggy. Peggy's going to the market. Well, yeah, that little piggy is definitely going to market. Uh, do not get stung by one, a mosquito hawk. Okay, I, I, I don't believe we have mosquito hawks in Australia. What the hell is a mosquito hawk? Is it like just a really super large mosquito? That's, um... Yeah. Well, it's all road here down here, so... Yeah, road here feeding zone. I'm just zones. seeing where that red deer track was, but... Oh, it was up behind us. It was up into was the wind it? up here. Yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see what it was and see what the weight is. Because I'm running the zag tactics still, so... Um, the 20 gauge is not updated on the spreadsheet yet. Thank you very much for that, Mrs. B. I wasn't sure. That's a 31 kilo road deer, though. And Flair's going to DM me. That's 196 kilo red deer. We might have a bit of a track. 210. Yeah. We'll have a bit of a look-see. Um, no Georgia peanut butter with mayo and banana. I don't eat bananas. And I'm really not sure that I want to put mayo. Peanut butter and honey is the stuff. I'm not really sure that I want to put mayo with my peanut butter either. PB and honey? No, see now I consider that weird. I don't do PB and honey. I do PB and J, but I don't do PB and honey. It's it's just yeah, yeah I don't know. 
But then I don't really like the Australian honey all that much either. Mayo and cheese, says I. Oh, yeah, yeah, mayo and cheese I'll do. Definitely. Definitely. That's um, chicken, cheese and mayo on the same sandwich. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking food I like. Oh, okay. The mosquito hawk is a mosquito, but it's twice the size. Oh, and it, fox. And it eats mosquitoes. We have a male fox mating call. We do. We to also the south. Yeah, straight in our wind. Yep, but that's all right because we have scent eliminator. We do. So spray cheese. Yeah, spray cheese in a can straight in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Definitely. I think every every kid in their right mind has done it with um, either cheese or cream, whipped cream. Um, and flare. Oh, okay. You confused it with the tarantula hook. Yeah, I've seen a tarantula hook. I watched that video of old mate getting stung by one of those. My God, what an idiot! What a complete moron. That must have just caned. Um, Vegemite says Tim Kent. Yep, I'm not a Vegemite person. I'm a yes, kiwi. Love Vegemite. I'm a kiwi, and in saying that, I'm not a Marmite person either. I don't do. I, I'll eat it if it's the only thing left in the cupboard to eat and I want to have a sandwich but it's not a big thing for me I grew up on peanut butter it's I've got a three piggy coming in that I just marked oh nice male give myself another spray no I can't give myself another spray because I have run out of I've run out of spray I'll have to buy I'll some more call. no that's a goose caller that's not going to do any good Got callers everywhere, and I don't even know which ones they are. That's a goose caller. Get out of the goose. That's a red deer. I don't know. I've got a pig caller yeah. here somewhere. It's another pig mating call. Excellent. Female. Excellent. I think they're over that ridge to the south. Yeah, that's we ran across the road and now up into that little wooded area so you shouldn't be too far away that's why I have no wild ball call it because oh there he is he's going to the west over behind that ridge what is it a pig or a yeah male pig okay I cannot see him yet no he's disappeared again hot dogs and ranch sauce I love ranch sauce absolutely ranch sauce and chipotle sauce would be two of my favorites along with the mustard so yeah i've uh i've done hot dogs and ranch sauce um honey buns do you have honey buns over here honey buns i've never heard of a honey bun but uh we have sweet buns over here with cream in them and stuff come from the bakery uh so if that's something Jam similar with cream down the center of them um, sugar and cinnamon all over them. Mm, once again, we're talking about this. it's now. This is debate on pie. No, we're not bringing up a debate on pineapple on pizza. We are not doing it. No, that it's not happening. Tough. <laughs> That's just not happening. Oh, watermelon jam is nice. Yes. Tim Kent calls his Mrs. Honey Buns. Does that count? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably counts to her, mate, and that's the main thing. So you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. All right, no, this thing ain't coming. <laughs> Fish <laughs> licks, licks the old uh, ranch sauce off the plate. Yeah, I, there's, there's a couple of kids here that like to lick plates too. Where are we going to? Over this way, because we can. Um, actually, let's just go for a toddle down to Tichenau. Tichenau? Let's go down to Tichenau, because I know there's a big bison that could possibly be down here again today. Well, that is true, and there's not much hunt pressure down here. No, 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 it all got taken away and put everywhere else. 
Yep, and Carius has finished the debate. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carius. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy that. That's great. Awesome. Debate over. No more. No Look, more. Now something has a bison has walked straight through the yard here. You're joking. No. And gone straight through the fence. I gotta come see this. A bison in my yard? I want bison in my yard. Why why have I got I got no bison in my yard. No, see, no, no. It's no there's foot a footprint here. Nope. It goes over the log and then there's a footprint through the fence right here. No, no, there's no footprints. So let's go for a wander yeah. anyway. I'm not gonna bother female change bison. I'm not even gonna bother changing the time. Well, I've got female bison here, so Cool. You follow that and we'll see what we can find. Because I know that a 20 gauge slug drops a bison very cleanly. Something makes some noise. Something come out. Something say hello. You need to be shoosted. Damn. It's on the trot so we can go for a bit of a... Damn you geese. Stupid flying things. Get out of the way tree. Let me ask you to be there. Well, are you going? Yeah, go. She'll come down this way. We're probably better off heading down this nah, way. There she is. It's just here. Okay, well, I've still got no tracks. There's a poop here. Eh, uh, very old. But then there's more tracks coming down the hill here. Yeah, well, Kelly, you're right. People who use fruit don't belong on a pizza need to learn how to take their tomatoes off a pizza because a tomato is a fruit and a vegetable. And, and, and all sorts. Nobody really knows. It's... I don't have tomato on my pizza anyway, so it's all good. Don't 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 bang your head, Dad. Neither that'll make you fall asleep probably a whole lot faster. Mm. And maraschino cherries, Mrs. B. Eh. Hey, oh, that's bison. Up the hill. I heard. Oh yeah, right there. Hello, you gonna play silly buggers? Are you just gonna stand? No, no, you've taken off. Have you taken off? No, you're still stuck there on the hill. No, she's gone. Well, he's gone. I don't know. But now I've got she tracks. Tomato sauce, that's right, killer. But see, I'm one of these people who, um, as a child, was a, a, a tad excitable is what I like to call it. My parents like to call it ADHD or hyperactivity. Um, so I had a lot of stuff removed from my diet while I was growing up in order to not have to lock me in a cage and strap me up with a straitjacket. So tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, all that sort of stuff. I never grew up with any of that. So I don't really have a thing for sauces. I like um, all the different mustards and ranches and sweet chilies and things like that I don't really do tomato sauce or barbecue sauce for that matter um, and no Mrs. B I'm not really a huge fan of the pineapple on the ham either I know it tastes nice but then I'm not a huge fan of big ham steaks that's more Ricky likes ham steaks oh yeah ham steaks whereas I'm yeah not if I'm going to eat ham, I want it thinly sliced on a sandwich, or I want my bacon. So, yeah. It's been a trap since the very beginning, Jaxie. I'm starving once again. It's just not on, I tell you. Fun facts with Rick Kiwi, that's right. There you go. So you don't get a face cam, but um, I'll tell you, I was a bit of a spastic child. I'm a bit of a spastic yeah. adult too, just quietly, but hey, you know. I can get away with it. Just here. Yeah. That's yeah. a bison. Cool. Bison. Uh, male track right there. No, that's a pig for me. Oh, it's a pig. Yes, it is. And he's running. No, no, Mrs. B See, geese. Shut up, geese. Get out. Um, geese? I yeah, I, I can I can hear geese. I can hear geese everywhere I go these days. Stupid things won't friggin' land for me, but they want to fly around. Um, I now can hear geese. Yep. And there's nobody to cut up my, my ham, steak, and pineapple for me, Mrs. Bear. It's not that. It's just it's entirely too much ham for me. Oh, nice. No, it's, it's perfect. 
Yeah. Num, 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 num. <laughs> yeah, so you see Reggie grooves on it, whereas it's just, yeah, it's entirely too much of a slab of ham for I me. Mean, shut up, geese. Why couldn't you Ham's just... Ham chips and eggs. Oh, there we go. Scrambled eggs, hot sauce or ketchup? Well, hot sauce. We don't have... Do we? Can we get ketchup over here? We can, can't we? Ketchup, can we? yeah. Yeah, Heinz ketchup. So, there you go. But no, it'd have to be um, it'd have to be the spicy sauce. But no, tomato sauce I like better than the ketchup. Well, there you go. See, personal preferences is what you grew up with. And yes, flair ADHD meant I had absolutely no attention span whatsoever. It wasn't limited. It was non-existent. Um, school was fun, to say the least, for me. I don't know about everyone around me, but for me, it was a great laugh. And Isaac says his dad made the best venison and barbecue sauce pizza. Oh, venison pizza. See, now you get my attention. I love venison, and I have not had venison for so long. Well, <coughs> Excuse me. That, yeah? You can buy it in the supermarket, but it's expensive. You can, but it's expensive. Mm, it's expensive. There's not that many deer farms around. And Mrs. B's a hot sauce lady. Good to hear, Mrs. B. Hot sauce on everything, ketchup on nothing. Detonator, ADH. Yeah, well, you can control it by bobbing your leg up and down. Unfortunately, I think if I'd tried to bob my leg up and down, I'd have just been constantly... Bobbed it off. Oh, yeah, I was spastic. Absolutely mental spastic. I really feel for my poor mum. Hey, mum, if you happen to ever catch this, sorry. Um, yep, yep, Zarius, I'm with you there. Cook a big ham, stick it in the fridge, mung on it for the next few weeks. Look, look, it's a ninja star geese. Where? Up to the north. No. It's a ninja star. It's just floating above the Nothing. trees, spinning. Oh, yeah. Yep. No, it's actually just flying for me. Okay, you know, it's, it's doing the ninja. Oh, no, no, now it's stopped doing the ninja stars. It stopped. No, it's doing the ninja star. Now it's actually stopped. But they shouldn't be here. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be up at my friggin' blinds while I was trying to shoot you up there. Yes. There's another one coming in. Sods. Uh, no, no ketchup on chips. No, I would rather have um, salt and vinegar on my chips, to be honest. Wow, there's a whole flock of them above us. Yeah. Flying yeah. across big yeah. V formation. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Look at that. There you go, people. Geese. Just not where they're supposed to be, because I've got no decoys out here. You gotta wonder if you put some decoys out here with the end. I might try that. Yes, well, you're right there, Dadnator. Over here, it's the same thing. Um, I was fortunate. I went through a couple of schools before we found one that actually suited um, how retarded and special I was as a child. So I was fortunate, I mean, I could have had a better education if I had tried harder myself. I can't blame the school for it. Well, doesn't appear to be any bison out here either. Ketchup is like mayo in Jaxie's house, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> and Hendry, you got to go. Well, thank you so much for being here, my friend. Mostly appreciated. Hope we catch you on another one. You have a great day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Well, there's supposed to be a level five bison standing there with a sign on it that says "Shoost me wreck." It's just not there. There's no bison. Not there. today. There is bison prints here, though. Yes, application, Mrs. B. Application, application, application. That's all I got told as I was growing up. Apply yourself. I keep telling them I do. I just don't apply myself to what you want me to apply myself to. I have other interests that I'm applying myself to, and they don't involve schoolwork. Honestly, I think I learned more out of school than I ever did in. Yes. yes. 
Yes, Flair. <laughs> what do they do with children like us? Grin and bear it, I suppose, because there's not much else you can do. I'm going for a run. Are you going to come for a run? Let's go for a run. Let's go for a jog through the woods. Yeah. Because, you know, it's jogging simulator. 2018. Hey, look, footprints. Woohoo. There's footprints everywhere. <laughs> Maybe for you. No footprints for me. Got some poop here. Uh, very old. Now, French fries and mayo. That is a... That's a French thing, isn't it? Don't the French do that at McDonald's? You get mayo with your French fries? I have eaten mayo with my French fries. It's an interesting combination. Um, still prefer mustard. There were four pigs around here at one stage. But, uh, yeah... The learning only comes outside of school if you want it to happen. I live by a policy if you don't learn something new every day, it's been a waste of a day. Yeah, so, you've got to learn something new every day. It doesn't matter how small or how great it is, as long as you learn something new every day, it's been a productive day, you can go to bed that night and feel good about yourself. I'm going to have to get off this game later and learn something for the day too, just quietly because I haven't learned anything today. Okay, we've got a 610 to a 675 kilo European bison walking around but he went the opposite direction to where we're walking. Okay, well let's go in his direction because I don't have his tracks. And Killer says, when you first went to Paris, went to a restaurant and they served fries with mayo, had to ask for some ketchup, get weird looks. Yeah, well that's that's what I mean, it's, it's yeah. This track just here. No, I got no tracks. You got no tracks? No, I got pig oh. pig tracks down the hill. Oh, is he going into our into our wind? Yeah. Ah, um, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. They're all going the opposite direction to where we're going. Mmm. Mmm. Where to go? Suggestions, people. All these tracks are back with back the other way. There's not one that's gone. Suggestion. Suggestions in the chat, folks. Where would you like us to go? Is there anyone particularly you'd like to see us hunt on Hirschfelden, or shall we just up and jump it and go to Leighton and see what's over there? And mustard's great. Leave Mrs. B and her mustard alone, B. <laughs> hey, that's bison. That's bison. Right there. Hello. How are uh, you doing? Hey. Hey, you do it, boss. Let's see if we can get in. I'd like him. Oh, good man. He's going to lay down for a snooze, too. So we're going to sneak up on him, and we're going to smash him in the spine with the 20-gauge. Ricky, you haven't shot anything today, other than a goose. <laughs> come, on, come over here, buddy. There's, there's a level 3 bison over here with your name written all over it. Oh, yeah, there he is, 100 metres out from me. You want to get to within, well, I found I got to within about 25 to 30, and then I just smacked him in the spine with the 20 gauge slug, and yeah, if you get that spine shot, he'll go down. Yeah. I'll, li I'll line up on him as well just to make sure. Dad Nader, there is no hunting Kiwis. Jaxie says Spreeberg. Fish JD says Medved. <laughs> well, I, I try to give Medved some love as often as I can fish. I've been out there a few times. Um, it's, it's a great map and I have a lot of luck, but it tends to be very quiet unless you go out and do a bit of work. Now, with any luck, there will be a video coming out very shortly. <coughs> Jaxie! on um, said work that I have just mentioned so um, once that's released yeah but uh, you can you can get some good animals got some good animals out on yours it was my stream last week in Madrid wasn't it yes and we had a lot of bear very lot of bear very lot of bear a very very lot of bear I took my bear bait see Ricky mm, bear bait 
<laughs> Welcome to the Food Network. That's right. It, it started out as a uh, animal shooting stream and has ended up as a cooking show. And as you can see, we've got some lovely greens over here that we can uh, mash up in a bit of salad with this bison if we happen to get the bison. A couple of spruce. A couple of spruce leaves. leaves. Yeah, 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 for a bit Just of decoration. Sort of flavor. <laughs> Add that spruce taste to it all. <laughs> yes, yes, I will continue to poke you with a stick, Jaxie. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, said bison is 30 odd meters away, and I don't know if he wants to. He's gonna try and walk away. Don't you walk away from me. I'll get down to my belly and crawl. Um, I don't know if anyone would be silly enough to take a shot of pure vanilla extract their flair but I can guarantee you there probably is someone that'll do it because let's face it they'll eat Tide Pods and um, do the cinnamon challenge so I'm you know pretty sure that someone out there will be dumb enough to try it I myself am not that person yes Georgia I have looked at your barbecue sauce recipe it looks amazing and I will be giving it a go once summer rolls around and I've got the barbecue back up and running again Ribs, mmm. <laughs> Cooking with kiwi, yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> First, we need to track down the animal. Let's sneak up on this bison, nail it in the spine, carve it up, and chuck it on the barbecue. Jeez, how close are you, Ricky? This is just about I sitting on it. About, I mean. I'd say so, because you're 11 meters in front of me, and I wasn't that far from him. I see him. And Flair, why does that not surprise me that you've done that? That's just... Yep. Okay. Take your shot whenever you want. I did. Ah, okay. Alright, well I'll give it a go. Oh, two slugs. And he's angry. Angry. Angry bison. You... Yeah. Get angry! <laughs> I was shooting him and shooting him and shooting him. Uh, the multiplayer joys. So, yeah. G'day. How are you? Hey, what you doing over there? You ready to be on a barbecue? Some lovely soylent greens. Oh, I got cash out of that. Yeah, you, you shot it in the shoulder. That's why. Yeah, but it didn't even move. Nah, it just... I shot it twice and just sat there. I just missed the spine. Just missed the spine and got the brain. Hey, look at that. That's just fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screenshot that because that's just great. Well, all right. One bison down. Now... We did have an option to go to Spreeberg with a heck of Spreeberg. Where's Spreeberg? That's Rathenfeld. Sean Felt. Wandorf. I would assume Spreeberg is in this location somewhere, so let's go to this tent over here. Wow, it is just a full on cooking show in the chat. Just, just, yeah. You know I'm starving, don't you? No, this is Ritterstein. Oh, this is, this is close enough. Where are we? So we need to go, not that way, because that's the wind. Let's, what's the time? All right, I'm going to change the time again and you know, spend them to cash, because I've got lots and it doesn't matter. And we're going to go 6.44 in the morning, because that's my preferred time to hunt. Hey, it's only 250. Bonus. Ah, oh, don't apologise, Georgia. It's all good. I have no problems with that whatsoever. It, uh, it's one of those things. Last week I learnt and I actually went out and got something to eat before the stream. So I was all good. This week I was not so smart. Um, and I didn't eat before the stream. No, but we're going to go get KFC after the stream. 
So there you go, KFC. Mm. Bacon and cheeseburger with chicken. Bacon and cheeseburger. Right, where have all the animals gone? Where are all the footprints? That's the other thing. I haven't even seen. <laughs> Get angry, not oh, Julia Chills. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I didn't even know you were there. Thank you so much for tuning in. No, I don't ever get hangry. No, I'm not a hangry person. I just, yeah, I get hungry, but not hangry. Hey, you'll do. Where'd that come from? Um, up to the east, northeast, to the left of east. To the left of east. I heard that, but I didn't see it. I had no, par no. no parentheses at all. Oh, I did. Um, Zurich's not cheeseburgers, they do a bacon and cheeseburger um, combo meal. So it's bacon and cheese. On a chicken roll, on a chicken. With, yeah, patty. chicken breast patty thing and burger buns. So, yeah, real nice. So, no, no cheeseburgers. Um, Flair gets hangry. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Flair gets hangry. Oh, well, good on you, mate. Oh, I see him. I see that. He's a six. 129 out. Well, he needs to be closer than 129 out, unfortunately, because shotgun just ain't going to do it from 129. I should have brought some more spray while I was over at the uh, thing, too. That's all right. We'll keep calling. Keep sneaking up there and see if we can get him. Uh, yes, we have spicy KFC chicken over here as well. It's um, hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. And yes, the KFC Nuggets Special, 24 Nuggets for $10. But then McDonald's is doing the same deal. So, either either, depending on your preference for Nuggets, my preference is McDonald's. And Mine is KFC. My preference for McDonald's purely lies behind the reasoning of their mustard sauce. KFC doesn't do a mustard sauce with their chicken nuggets, so they lose my, they lose my, uh, my money for that one, unfortunately. like to be able to get somewhere oh hello there's another one right there behind that tree is that the same one no it's the six that's the six art that's him yeah so if we can oh here he comes yes he is and i'm just belly crawling now we'll give it a go tim we'll give it a go i'd like to see ricky actually be able to shoot something it would be nice not not shoot things and have them just look at him and go yeah whatever whatever Where are you, Mr. Red Dale? Hello? I just crawled through the grass here like a ninja. That's dun. cool, I'm on a rock that's got a tree growing through it. Beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Red Dale's just oh. over here. I can hear it. Yep, I can see him. He's 31 meters out there. I'll give him another call and see if we can get him a little bit front on maybe or something oh there you go I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that digs McDonald's he's behind that friggin rock now isn't he digs McDonald's yep. for their mustard right. sauce Jaxie exactly behind the rock hopefully he'll come out from behind that rock yep he's coming I can just see his head peeping over the rocks. So can I. Here he comes. Here he goes. Here he goes. All right. Perfect. Are oh, oh, you so sod? <sighs> oh well. That's all right. He's going in the right direction. We'll just follow him for a while. Hey, country boy, fifty-five, sixty-five. I am great. Thanks for asking. Thanks for joining in the stream. Um, we started with a couple of geese, and then they just decided they didn't want to fly in. So we've just been wandering around, and so far we've had a bison and a roe deer and pig. And now we're going to see if we can get this silly six-heart red deer that decided to spook and run away. Yeah, I don't do the sweet and sour sauce, Jaxie. Um, 
I don't know whether it comes from living in Singapore as a kid and being forced to eat sweet and sour a whole lot. I'm not really a big sweet and sour man. And Nicholas Pont, how are you? Sorry if I missed you, mate. This chat's moving so fast today with everybody talking about food. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard to keep up with. Thanks so much for joining in, matey. Come hither, Red Dare, come hither. Oh, hello. Are you a male or are you a female? You female. Female. Shut up. Go away. Yes, Julia, the bugs are a bit, um, a bit crazy. It seems to work better in single player than it does in multi. And multiplayer seems to bug out the more people you have. Now, I, I'm not saying that's a sure thing, but that's just from my personal observation. Um, another warning call from a female fox. Foxes everywhere these days. I never used to see foxes. Now they're all over the place. Yep. Um, yeah, the last patch has made it better, but it's still got its issues. And like I say, it seems to work. I came out on single player to set up all my blinds um for Riki's sub hunt and every single blind location i had geese flying in on and was able to sort of get them to land and everything else and uh yeah yeah we came out yesterday and couldn't get a single geese to land anywhere on Riki's stream which i felt so bad for and today we managed to get one flock to land and then nothing else wanted to come in so but then i just I, it's it's EW, they've got bugs at the moment, and that's fine. I can understand that. They're working on it, they're doing the best they can. So, let's all give them a little bit of a, you know, let's, let's let them have the weekend off. And hopefully come Monday, Tuesday, we will see another patch that will, um, with any luck, fix most of the problems. And we can all get out and have a decent goose juice together. And Country Boy just got home watching some boom sticking with the Kiwi. Thank you very much. Oh, I got young fella. I'll be back in a second. You're right. That thing's still running. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I don't think we're going to be able to catch it. Oh, no, it's walking for me here. And yes, as Jaxie says there, Julia, it is a lot better than it was. I mean, um,. You can actually lay in your blinds now. You can sit up out of your blind and shoot an animal and then duck back down. I found, as I said to Jaxie, I found they were very effective for hunting deer. Believe it or not, lie yourself in one of those, call in your fellow deer or whatever deer you're calling in, and they'll actually get up to within about five feet of you. Oh, there he is. I've got him. And he's gone again. You sod. How did you... Mmm, spooking animals just not on hey <laughs> come on jesus oh, oh god oh um yeah so, somebody did say boom georgia thank you so much oh, oh, no. i just heard that thing call out yeah, it was just down the hill here and it saw me and ran and I was like hidden and everything, but never mind. Um, I haven't had my game crash at all whilst doing anything other than playing Julia. Um, Jaxie obviously may have had problems with them to begin with with the coffins, but uh, to be honest, I'm with another YouTuber on this one, Lone Gamer. Um, Batch and I are on the same page I think they should have gone with the blinds they had in Classic personally um, I think the coffin blind is a little uh, yeah, I don't know it's it's a little bit strange in my opinion but yeah some people like them some people don't I would have preferred to have seen the blinds that they have in Classic where you can get three or four players all standing in it and you're um, fairly invisible to the animals till they land and then you spook them and away you go. But this is the way that EW's decided to go. So hopefully, maybe they'll change it for ducks. And we'll get the normal blinds with ducks, but we'll see. 
And country boy, no mate, I don't actually hunt anything over here. It's been a good 20 years since I picked up a, uh, a rifle and shot at anything. I used to go hunting red deer with my brother-in-law in New Zealand. But um, to get a gun license and then find the land to shoot on in Australia is a little bit more complicated than it was for me back home. I didn't need anything really back home other than a license. So there are apparently some really amazing super red deer around here and rusa deer I believe it is, Ricky. Yep. Shut up Fox, you're scaring off my deer. Yeah, well, Julia, I noticed today, and I hadn't actually picked up on it up until today, you can do a 360 in your coffin blind, but only in one direction. So if I was to be sitting in a coffin blind now, I could go to, say, there, but then the other way, I'd be able to go all the way around. So it's it's very strange. Um, I hadn't noticed that until today. And Tim Kent says he used to hunt kangaroos, foxes and rabbits and feral cats. Yeah, well, feral cats are a huge problem over here. So, um, pretty sure it's easy enough to be able to shoot them in places like Victoria and stuff. I don't know, what what's the situation with feral cats in Queensland? Not real sure. I don't really hear a whole lot about them. I know they're extremely bad in Victoria. They're everywhere. There is another red deer. Oh, good on you. Get out of the rock. Um, and yeah, the laws these days, country boy, that's, that's exactly right. I mean, they're getting tougher and tougher, but in saying that, they need to be a little bit tougher too. Um, there's just too, it, it's too easy to get a gun in some places. And uh, yeah, we've actually got an opportunity and hopefully we're going to take it up fairly soon. This man over here has a friend who uh, actually runs gun courses to get licenses and stuff. And he has invited us out to his range to shoot a whole lot of weapons. I believe he's got about 20 odd rifles that uh, we can shoot out there. 16 or 12. I think he had 22, but now he's down to 16. There you go. So, so we'll um, we'll get out there and do that at some stage and uh, take a whole heap of photos like Mr. Sean Johns did when he went out for his one. It won't be as much fun as Sean's. Because we won't have any automatics or semi-automatics or anything oh, like that. He's got a couple of semi-autos. He's got a couple of semi Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> now I'm getting excited. We can't put any of that on YouTube as a video. No, no, that's fine. We don't need to video it, but we can, uh, we can take photos and put them on Discord. Uh, this, this is just disappointing. Nothing wants to come in and say hello. I'm not happy. Where are all my animals? Really? A roe deer. <laughs> Male roe deer. Yes, hoping to there, country boy. Um, we will film as much of it as we can, Julia. Um, but it, like I say, or like Ricky's just said, you know, there's there's some of it that will be photos in Discord only, due to the fact of the uh, particular gun laws in this country and the allowance through semi-automatics. And I know they're similar in New Zealand. You're not allowed semi-automatics in New Zealand either. But they are there. I know my brother-in-law did have one for a while. I think he's allowed to have it because of his licensing and stuff. But yeah, I don't think you're actually allowed to actively show it. For some reason. Who knows? Yeah, feral cats... Um, no, they're not like your house cat. They... Uh, they're cats that live in the wild now um, one of my best mates from New Zealand his uncle actually owns a feral cat in Melbourne and has raised it from kitten not to say that it's probably it's, it's probably still the most violent um, well that's a male fox still the most violent cat I've ever come across but they are huge they are absolutely they're, they're the size of a, um, a small Labrador if you could picture that in a cat they're just oh they're scary and they do they destroy all the native wildlife and anything else that moves they're sort of like a wrecked kiwi in a cat
Yeah, hard to human hard to humanize a feral cat though, even from kitten stage. It takes a lot of work. I know my mate's uncle spent, you know, months and months and months hand feeding it and everything else just to get it used to him. And then another serious amount of time trying to get it used to the rest of the family as well because they just they well they are what they are, they're feral. They they don't know any different and it seems to pass through the genes with them, so Oh, he's right there somewhere. In that long grass. You wanna drop down on your belly? He might pop his head out for us to have a look at. And you have civet cats in BC. What was that cat we were talking about with that oh. cough? <laughs> um, they were a civet. Yeah, there you go. Those, those civet cats are the ones that eat coffee beans and poop them out and make the most expensive coffee in the world. Kopi Luwak. Yep. Well, got to get some shadow. Got to get up early tomorrow. Just wanted to come and show some love and say hello to chat for a bit. Thank you so much, country boy. Muchly appreciated, mate. More than welcome on the streams anytime. Great to see you. You have a good night and uh, have a great day tomorrow, eh? And Dad Nader says, raising a feral cat's like raising a chimpanzee. If anyone remembers the lady that got plastic surgery from a chimpanzee, well, see, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with the raising of chimpanzees and things like that. They are, you know, as close to human as they're ever going to get, but they're still a wild animal. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh nice. Oh, there's that red. Oh, look at that. There he is. That's a seven very hard. And it's I've one. yeah, and I've got absolutely no scent eliminator because you know. And yes, Georgia, it is a big house cat. They are humongous. They are by far the biggest cat I've ever seen. Um, I don't know if I'd ever want to own one. He's just going to stand there and eat, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know if we can get any closer to it. If we can get within 75 metres, you can give it a shot with the um, slug in the spine. Got to get something. According to Discovery Channel, the house cat is the deadliest animal in the world because they kill for fun, not just for food. Well, that's right. Just stay away from one. Because <laughs> 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 he'll kill you. He will. He will. Juan will kill you. He's Juan. He's not a nice person. Well, I'm 80 out now. Give it a shot if you want with the slugs. 75 is the max limit, I think, on it. So if you're going to shoot at 80, yeah. you want to be just above his spine. I'll go in another 5 metres, see if I can. Oh, look. And we're going to get them across there now as well. Really? Yep, that's another male across the water. So, oh. That's a four. Love how their call came from there, yet there is the animal. Okay, he's about 75, 76 for me now. Oh well, so. wait till he ducks down for a feast maybe, and then well, I'd go for the middle of the spine, not the shoulder blade area. I don't think at 75 metres you'll have penetration through the shoulder blade. I'll wait till he goes down again. Yep. Oh, that was above him. Oh, was it? Yep. It was yes. above. Never mind. Oh, well. Oh, well. Never mind. Which way are we heading? We'll keep going this way. We're going into the wind. I probably should have picked up some stuff, but oh, never mind. Hey. You right there? Pushing yeah. me around. Hey? I'll see how it is. Yes, cats are cats are better hunters than dogs, and unfortunately, we have a whole lot of cats that live in our neighbourhood. And because our lease requires us not to have any pets, we can't have a dog. So therefore, we just get swarmed by cats. Two fifteen is not bad. It's a decent size. Um, we get swarmed by cats in our yard, and of course, all the native birds just don't land here anymore. They used to, once upon a time. Used to have a lot of native birds land in the yard. It was quite nice in the afternoons. He was 182. Wasn't bad for a four either. He was a seven, that one. 
Yeah, no, no, there's the other one that came through. So oh, the other one, yep, that yep. four. Yep. Decent size as well. And Isaac's got to go as well. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, Isaac. Muchly appreciated, buddy. You have yourself a great evening, night, day, morning, however it is for you. This is... Uh, Very quiet out in the bush. Ha ha! Now that's out of our wind for a change. Let's see if we can actually. Yeah, let's see if we can actually get one to come in. This is the this is the thing with it uh, when you don't bring a rifle like the seven mil or the four fifty four pistol or something like that. You've got to get that a little bit closer with the twenty gauge shotgun. Mori G, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Been a bit of fun running around Hirschfelden today. We tried the geese and we managed to uh, shoot a couple. Other than that, we've had a lot of red deer just run away from us because. You know, I'm a bad shot. Well, not only that, but they've, they've been spooking for no reason whatsoever like that one just did. I oh, did just spook? Yep. How far out was it? Uh, probably 25, 30 meters away from me. I didn't even see it until it decided to run out of the bush, spook, and take off. Oh. Son of a thing. Well, bugger, what we might do for the last 20 minutes then is go and give Goose Schustin another go. Yep. We'll go back up to that top location where we started. If it'll let me. Let me click on it. Click on my tent. Thank you. We'll give Goose just in one more shot, people. See if we can uh, pull a few more Goose in. We haven't had much luck with um, anything else coming in, really. The Red Deer want to be really, really skittish today, and I didn't bring anything to long range them with, so... What is the time? It is... 8.03, that's good. Goose, come in and be shoosted. Please, for the sake of my stream, where are you all? Ah, hey! <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I was trying to have a drink there. Thank you so much, Jet. Much appreciated. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got to click those tents with two hands that's right that's right it's um yeah unfortunately it is a uh, it is a bad click and it doesn't want to do it for me sometimes right goose where are you come forth come hither be shosted yes yes that that um that was uh, well timed jet well timed indeed almost spat me drink all over me monitor thank you so much <laughs> I just picked it up and taken a mouthful. I sort of was, uh, I sort of sent me trusting the stream for a second. Thought, oh, I'll have a drink, you know. It's all good. It's nice and quiet. More like a hunting geese. Mmm. <laughs> Where have all the geese gone? This is an on EW. Come on. Supposed to, there's supposed to be millions of geese. Like there was with the bunny rabbits. When the bunny rabbits came out, there was just millions of them. They were everywhere. Yep. Alright, Mrs. B, thank you so much for hanging around. Much love for Mrs. B in the chat, please, for being here. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, go and feed those munchkins. They'll be very hungry by now. Much like myself. Very hungry. Come on, geese, really? Really? Empty skies. Thank you so much for all the love for Mrs. B there. She is a wonderful lady. Out on every stream. Doesn't matter whose stream it is. She's always there. 
And she plays Discord better than anyone else I know. Are you really going to disappoint me and just not... It's just not on, I tell you. All I want is some geese. I can't even hear any. Normally you can hear them. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I didn't tell them to shut up around here though, Sean. They were way over the other side of the map. And it's like they shouldn't have been there anyway. They should have been up here. All sitting here waiting for me to shoot them. So, but yeah. Smother yourself in <laughs> If I could find reckon? if I could find a goose to shoost and then smother myself in it, I probably would, Tim. But yeah, yeah, we already ate the couple of geese that we got this morning. Yep. It's phenomenal, though, isn't it? You can go everywhere else in the map, and you can hear them, and sh you can even see them. You come here, and they just don't want to do it. I know you're around. What are you trying to play, fish? Elite Dangerous. Don't know. Don't know, Elite... Oh, excuse me. Don't know, Elite Dangerous. I haven't heard of that game. Oh, and what, what direction is uh, Star Citizen heading there, Julia? If people are getting disheartened because it's... Oh, geese. I can hear them. Yep, got okay. geese coming. Good on you, geese. Um, yeah, it's. I've heard a lot of people are really super, super excited about it. So that uh, if it's if it's going in the wrong direction, what direction is it heading? Here they come over to the northeast. Yeah, you're calling them, aren't you? Yep. Cool. I'll get a spot on them. All. Two minor, three easy, three easy, two minor, one trivial, two minor, one trivial, two. Oh, there's a couple of a couple of big ones in there. A couple of threes, but. Geese! Thank you! Thank you, geese! And they're breaking. Yes, they are. Oh, better reload that, because, you know, having bullets in your gun when you go to shoot said geese is always helpful. Are you breaking or are you going away? Where are you going? Why are you, why are you flying away? I saw something I didn't like. They just broke and then flew away. Yep. I saw something I didn't like. Really? Really? How dare you break and then not land? That's stupid. I can't believe that. They broke, turned, and then they reformed. Wow. Well. Well, that's that's no, the nothing. that's the first I've seen that. No, Not, I've seen it a lot. Usually, if they break for me, they come down. At least no. two or three of them. Not for me. Most of the time, they'll do that and just fly straight overhead again. Here they come. Okay, here they come again. Let's see if we can get them to break and land this time, people. They're high this time, though. Wow, space geese. Wow, they're real high. To the moon. That's... Okay. So maybe EW hasn't worked out that geese need to be a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're like satellites. Yep, yeah. That's disappointing. That really is. That is... That's sad. I'm sad now. Hmm. Uh, you 
guys heard a, sh a gunshot? Okay. Nobody fired a gun. So maybe that's why they took off again then. If, if you guys heard a gunshot in the stream, that'd be why they continued flying, but... Unless it was when I actually had my gun out and I reloaded it, and that's what caused... Oh, I, I didn't actually hear anything, but could have. No, I didn't... Didn't notice, but I mean, yeah. It's possible. Ah, when I was loading... Okay, there you go. That's what it was. When I was loading my gun, apparently a gunshot went off, and that's why they all flew off again then. Huh. Well, that explains that, but see, that's stupid, because I didn't hear anything, he didn't hear anything, and I didn't fire anything. I just reloaded my gun. Well, there you go. Hint and tip number one. Make sure your gun is loaded before your geese come in. Otherwise, it'll fly away. And then they'll go supersonic high. Oh, hello. We're going to come up here. Come on. Break. Yes. Are you going to break? Are you going to break? Nah. We're going straight overhead. I just don't want to come down and say hello. Well, there you go. Austin Lewis says he thought you shot. No. So. No, I didn't even hear a gunshot. I'll have to no, go back. I haven't shot. I've got two shots in my chamber now. I'll have to um, um, I'll have to go back and look at that at the stream later on when it's finished uploading, and see what that was because yeah nobody shot anything nobody uh, and like I say the only thing I can think of is it was when I was loading my gun. Chico forty one twenty nine hey how are you matey welcome to the stream. What are you talking about Imperion? Ah yes yes I know Beard likes Imperion. And Star Citizen. Well, you suck, geese. You all suck. A whole lot of you. You were supposed to come out and make an appearance so that people could see what you were. But no. No, not in multiplayer. Well, we got the first lot down, I suppose wasn't a complete failure we did get some geese down but that's that's really disappointing I'm yeah but yes obviously the gunshot Sean is still a thing when you're playing in multiplayer every now and again somebody shoots a gun I don't know who that dude is I'm beginning to think it might be the um, the second mechanic game warden no I'm thinking it's the second mechanic from Jaxie's garage could be he was always causing problems that bloke look at that it's just birds all over the friggin hill over there and none of them are any good if I shoot them you shoot them with a 22 and they just explode into feathers I can hear chainsaws chainsaws yeah you'll hear chainsaws and dogs but I wanted goose damn you geese can I hear geese I can hear them very faintly. Yep, they're coming back. I just can't see them yet. Oh, yep, here we go. There we go. From the south. Now I have my rifle loaded this time, you have yours loaded, so let's see if we can get these to actually break and maybe land. Come on. Oh, they broke. Here we go, we might be able to finish the stream off with some geese. Start the stream with geese, finish the stream with geese, that'd be nice if they come. Yep. They'll turn again and come back around. Here yeah, they come in for their landing. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, I've got ah, that one. Give me another gun. And I've got that one as well. No, I didn't get any. You didn't get any? No, nah, they're just doing flips on me. Well, I think this one might be a rare. I think. Yeah, that is doing the old flip. I think that's my first rare goose. I do believe that is a brown. So. It's normally, but. We shall take a photo because. Correct me if I'm wrong, chap, but I think that's a brown. Oh, it looks normal to me. And it is a brown hybrid. Oh, there you go. So there you go. I did not see that on the screen. It just looked normal to me. Oh, there you go. And then the other one we shot out here somewhere, I believe. All right, Tim. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. Appreciate it. And thank you, Julia. Yes, it was a brown hybrid. That's that's my first rare geese. I uh, yeah hadn't had one until then, and that's just a normal one. And these are three very. Hey, hello. Who's shooting what? What are you sh What are you shooting at? I'm trying to go for that goose, but missed it too. On oh, the one that just came in through the air. <laughs> just kept flying. Don't <laughs> flips. They do. Oh, they do die. If you've hit them. You try and get a mark on them um, with your knockies because they will actually die and uh, yeah pain in the bum they will die in locations where they're very hard to find because they don't highlight quite yet but on that note i think i might call that a stream as uh, i managed to start with some geese and finish with some geese which i'm very happy with but uh wait no shooting at me what I do to you jeez man but thank you everyone so much for coming along thank you Riki for joining me once again not a problem thanks for having me wow that was an interesting way to load that gun shoot that gun and load it again what's this yeah, that last bullet just floats there before it pops in. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyhow, everybody, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for all the donations and all the likes and the views. Muchly appreciated. Hope you guys and girls had a great time. And Ricky, stop shooting my decoys, man. My decoys aren't... They're not going to die. Really? <laughs> just leave Is my, that the problem? Leave, leave my decoys. the wrong ones. You're shooting the decoys. There's your, there's your issue. I see how it goes. Anyhow, everybody, thank you so much. Muchly appreciated. And we shall see you on the next one.